Hello everyone, I'm Ross, and in today's episode, we're going to take at Loom, how it works, what are the advantages and disadvantages, and compare it to three other alternatives. We'll compare all the tools based on the recording experience, sharing experience, how easy it is to find the recording, and what are the additional cool features. So let's start. So when it comes to Loom, there are two main ways how you can record your video. First one, through the Chrome extension that you need to install here, or you need to download the Mac or Windows app. And let me show you. If you want to record it with your Chrome extension, you click on it. So you can see Chrome has lots of different features. So here, this is the main panel. Uh, you need to select your video, audio source. Then there are different effects that they offering. So you can see, I can stuff like that. You can customize them as well. You can blur the background. You can actually even blur different parts. This is a cool feature. This is something I haven't seen in other products. Like I can, if you share some sensitive data, you can basically blur it like that. That's cool. And uh, okay, done. Canvas, basically you can make this whole thing look nice, like your background if you really need it. But yeah, let's go back. Now let me show you how to record actually with a desktop app. So once you install it, I'm using Mac. If I go here and click on Loom, basically the same experience. The only difference is that uh, the quality of your video would be better and there are less lags and bugs when you use desktop app. Now let's record something. So yeah, let's imagine we are talking about something and now let's just stop the recording uh, clicking here. Now once the recording is over, you can see that here we have the transcript part. We have editing functionality so loom allows you to edit your video by editing transcript you can edit it like in usual editing apps where you just trim right and cut the video or you can edit your video by editing the transcript and that's quite cool because you can basically delete any word or phrase that was said in any part of the recording and then delete it here i, I think it just takes time and food to transcribe but once it's transcribed you will be able to do that the good part about loom is that it has Lots of features, but then it's an issue as well because sometimes it's hard to navigate the tool and these features sometimes don't work properly. I will show you the proof of these words. And here you can, if you want to share the video, you can just click here and easily even embed it on your website or share it as a link. So it's quite easy here. And if we go to the homepage, this is how it looks like when you have all of your recordings. Since I've been using Loom for quite some time, uh, for almost three years, I have my older recordings because right now I don't use Loom, but you can see that here I have 900 recordings. And if I need to find something, I either have to go through all of these recordings or like manually sort videos into these folders. But sometimes I don't have time for that. You can always search for stuff. But the problem with this type of search is that, okay, so now I have this like 15 videos. I don't know where exactly, what video I need to open all of them. And this is super annoying. Like I don't, I don't like them navigation experience in this tool. And the problem with Loom as well is that you can see lots of negative reviews here, which are true because it basically, you start the recording sometimes, then nothing happens. Or you start the recording and then when you click stop and you want to find this recording, there is nothing because it didn't record. And I think part of the problem is that Loom just became such a big product. When you come for the basic functionality of recording your screen, but at the same time, you have like hundreds of features and some of them don't work. That, that's the problem for me with Loom. But when it comes to the sharing functionality and I think the editing part, it, it's quite a good tool. And I like that it has desktop apps. So the quality of the recording is better than with other tools. And the second tool is Blue Dot. Blue Dot is an AI powered Chrome extension that allows you to record your screen similar to Loom or other tools, but at the same time, is designed to record your Google Meet meetings. And I will show you later how it works. But now let, let me show you how the screen recording functionality works. You need to install the extension. Once you install it, you click on it and you have a similar functionality to Loom. You have the circle, you have the control bar. Here you need to select uh, what's the language, what exactly you want to record from which camera and audio, and you start the recording. And uh, now just give it three seconds. Let's keep counting down. And now the recording starts. It's super simple doesn't have like lots of this unnecessary features. It's just a recording your screen, you explain stuff, you move this circle and now you stop the recording. You immediately get this shareable link to the video that you can share with your colleagues. They can watch the video. If you want to make the video private, you just uh, move it back and that's it. Only you can access or certain people that you share it via email. Now here on the right side, there's generating transcript. 
you can leave the comments and it's just keep them down. It's basically easy as that. If you need to edit your video, Blue Dot has similar to Loom functionality where you can edit your video by editing text. If I, for example, go here, just recording the screen, you explain. You can delete any word or phrase from the transcript and it's going to be automatically deleted from the video. Features, it just recording the screen, you explain. You see? There was no word recording so it works like magic and you don't need any professional video editing skills let's go back so this is the screen recording functionality i think the best part is that it's super simple easy to use it always works it never lags like loom but if you need to record your uh, google meet this is where it becomes much better than anything else on the market i can show you on one of the meetings we have with our team the like all hands weekly meeting so this is what happens when you record Google Meet? Here, of course, on the right side, you have the transcript. It recognizes the speakers. It's very important, it's not random. And then it writes AI notes and summary of the meeting. This is something I didn't write or any of my colleagues. This is all AI, like overview what was discussed, action items, who agreed on what, with names, all the speakers who you know, like, okay, this is me and I have to follow up with potential clients, blah, blah, blah. Then there is like highlights with exact timestamps. Like, okay, here we discuss Zoom, re Zoom speaker recognition strategy. I click on it and I can rewatch it. All of that you're not going to get with any other screen recording tool. And the third tool is SenseSpark. I think SenseSpark is very designed for sales and marketers. And I will show you why. In order to record the video, you need either, either need to install the extension or desktop app. But before that, just look at their uh, functionality that they promote is like, a dynamic video if you want to send like hundreds of videos to your prospects this is more of a sales functionality like team overview you can see how your team members sent videos and what's the performance how many people watch them how many likes this is something that you won't see in loom or a blue dot or other tools and if we go to the video library here i can start the recording from here or from the extension if i start from the extension you see there are different effects that they offer kind of similar to loom uh, you can play around how the video would look like start the recording select uh entire screen okay we need to wait two seconds now we're talking about something and if i want to stop the recording i click here if i want to edit the video it only allows you to trim uh the video there is no editing by text what is can be annoying if you have a long video and you it just like takes time to find what you need to edit like with text is so much easier but and the fourth tool is descript Descript is mostly designed for transcription and editing videos, but not exactly for screen recording, but they later on added this feature and it became a bit popular among creators. And let me show you how it works. It's a desktop app. It's not a Chrome extension, so I need to open it. This is how it looks like. Uh, when it comes to UX UI, Descript is for me personally, it's a crap, but some people might like it. If I want to start the recording, I need I, I sometimes even forget what I need. They change the interface so much. So I guess I need to click new, then quick recording. And now I select, okay, okay. And now we start the recording. Let's wait, we start the recording. We talk about stuff, very interesting, blah, 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 whatever, stop. You see, that's the interface of this script. And if I wanna edit anything, and that's when it becomes, like you can easier to edit it here. Let's go. Yes. I want to delete the recording. Yes, we're gonna start it. You've seen it's similar to Loom or uh, Blue Dot, and I would say probably 10% better, just because that's what the product was initially designed for. And now let's compare all of them. So first of all, Loom, amazing for editing, sharing, has lots of features, but the problem with that is that it's unstable, and you've seen the reviews on the Chrome Store, and plus it's really hard to navigate and find what you need blue dot is amazing with editing because you can edit your video by editing text uh, as well it's quick when it comes to sharing because you immediately get the link it's easy to navigate and you can record your google meet or zoom as well and this is amazing because you don't need to buy other third-party tools for that the problem is that it doesn't have desktop app so the recording quality might be sometimes worse than with loom or SenseSpark or Descript as well and if we go to the sense park it's amazing for sales and marketers but it's not designed for day-to-day -day usage and the pricing reflects that as well so it's really hard to navigate hard to find what you need and the editing functionality is limited as well and this script is amazing when it comes to editing uh because that's what the tool was designed for editing and transcript but the ux is crappy uh the sharing functionality is really limited and it's not design for screen recording it's just additional feature that they added so that's been my review let me know what you think let me know if it's helpful and i'm open to any questions
Bye.